Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Chances are the name Rob Paulson might not mean a lot to you, but his voice is definitely familiar. He's a very in-demand voiced actor who's done more than 2,000 films, animated media, and video games. He's also won some very big awards like a Daytime Emmy and a Peabody. After several decades in the business, Rob got a very scary cancer diagnosis and one that threatened his career and his life. Rob Paulson is here with us to share his work, his personal battle with cancer, and why he's in town. Good to have you here. Hello, ladies. <laughs> I should say, hello, nurses. Can I still say that? I'm <laughs> Thank you. It's a real pleasure to be here. Great to meet you. I love it. I think as soon as people hear your voice, they're like, I recognize that. I, I have to tell you, it, uh, Tiffany, it is the most glorious aspect of my work. Um, work. Yeah. Walked in here this morning, and all I had to do was say, nerve, or, <laughs> hey, God, look at all the people. And everybody, they're doing it now. It's yeah. the most, it's just precious and to be able to do that and not be limited by being an average looking guy from Michigan is pretty cool. <laughs> Good for you. What character um, do you find people most often associate you with? Um, well, I have to say that if I, Ninja Turtles probably is the biggest one. Because uh, you did both Raphael and Donatello? I did. I was Raphael on the original show way before you girls were born. Yeah. And um, and then I was Do why are you <laughs> laughing? What the heck? Yeah, thanks and then for on, that, on this iteration, I was Donatello with a 25 year gap. So it's true. P Turtles live a long time. Nobody cares what I look like, which is the best part of my gig. So I'd say that certainly Ninja Turtles is probably the most well known franchise for which I've I've been able to work. But I got to tell you, man, Animaniacs and Pinky and the Brain really hold up well, and specifically the music on Animaniacs. Um, it is utterly timeless, and that is due in no small part to yeah, that guy right there, that really handsome guy pulling his giant <laughs> ear who lives in the water tower in Burbank. Um, but as a result of Mr. Spielberg and his pal Tom Ruger and folks who uh, created that stuff, we have a multi-generational fan base, and mm -hmm. that's why we're here this weekend. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you're here for the Milwaukee Comic Con, right? We are. In fact, all the original, the four original Ninja Turtles, Townsend Coleman, Michelangelo, Barry Gordon, Donatello, Cam Clark, Leonardo, and yours truly, Raphael, yeah. are here in Milwaukee this wow. weekend. So, cowabunga, baby. Yeah. Yeah, this is that a time is to awesome. visit. And Pretty anybody cool. is still welcome to, to join in the fun. Oh, visit, please. Yes. Take part in it, see all the things there are to see, meet people. Yes, come on down. If you've never, And I believe this is the first time that the uh, Milwaukee Comic Con has been up on its feet. And I got to tell you, folks, it will blow your mind. It is the most wonderful example of just pure nostalgia. Yeah. We will leave this weekend ladies, from three solid days, uh, exhausted from three solid days of saying thank you. Yeah. It's, the, it's wonderful. So to be in this position is an incredible privilege. And, and thank you for giving us a, a bully pulpit from which to spread the word. <laughs> <laughs> you said who, who people kind of associate with, but who is your favorite character or voice to play? The next one, because it means I'm working. Yeah. I yeah. Gotta make, <laughs> I got to make a car payment. You know how much gas is in Burbank? <laughs> Um, now, honestly, I, I think if I had to make a choice, it'd be pretty tough not to go with Animaniacs because I, yeah. I was a singer first. And so okay. anytime I get to be in front of, front, of, front of a bunch of people and sing United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, it just <laughs> makes people do that. <laughs> but you were in a rock band before. Oh, my God. That's when you sang, right? I was in the Beatles. Yeah. No, I <laughs> I, uh, no I, yes, I was. In fact, I was in a rock and roll band. It was a very successful b a club band called SASS back in Michigan. And it was a hugely important training ground, I think. Yeah. Uh, because before I, I, I did that and live theater before I got to L.A. And so I was aware of the, the fact that I could screw up and it wasn't life threatening. It wasn't the end of the world if I blew a lyric on stage or something yeah. like that. So I had my own trial by fire, and I think it helped me a lot when I went to L.A. at 22 or 23 years to be able to sort of take an emotional punch when you didn't get the job. It's just yeah. part of the business. Did you go wanting to be a singer or an actor, and voice is what happened yes, for you? Yes, precisely. Really? I, I, when I went to L.A., you know, people don't know this, but I was the entertainment at the Last Supper, so I've been around a while. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what a party. But anyway, yeah, right? I... I but I, when I went there, it was ostensibly to do live action, and that's what I was doing. You know, okay. MacGyver and St. Elsewhere and shows like that, a lot of commercials, music. But cartoons were relegated to Saturday morning, yeah. so there weren't nearly as many. Now, they're u utterly ubiquitous. They're mm -hmm. everywhere. So the opportunity came, and yeah, I just wanted to work. And when I, the first shows I did were G.I. Joe and Transformers, and I'm surrounded by all these incredibly gifted actors, many of whom I recognize from television, 
and nobody cared what anybody looked like. Right. I was all of a sudden getting hired for jobs that had nothing to do with the fact that I was a five foot ten kid from Flint. Yeah. And so here I am a hundred years later and they still don't care. <laughs> and it's a wonderful way to make a living. It just makes everybody happy. Let's talk a little bit about your diagnosis. D diagnosed with throat cancer. Yeah, How long three. ago was that? Three years ago at this very moment I was wow. uh, undergoing chemo and radiation. <clears throat> Not a smoker, I was always athletic, grew up playing hockey, um, played hockey in LA, gym rat, all that stuff, it was just my turn. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you what, you guys, <clears throat> the, the overarching takeaway, that whole experience, was the fact that having been able to literally grow up doing these characters, I learned through my experience with speaking with uh, children and their parents, often uh, times the children didn't make it, through their diagnosis and their incredible struggles. But the solace that they received from Raphael mm -hmm. or from Pinky or Yakko, I started to learn that these characters were profoundly important to people. And it turns out that those characters helped me through my own struggle. And that's what my book is about. The last thing the world needs is another celebrity bio. And make no mistake, folks, I don't draw them and I don't write them. I'm not, uh, the characters are famous. Yeah. But since I went through this thing with throat cancer, it's an important story because the characters about which we're speaking are, are way, about way more than an action figure or a rating point or a paycheck. This weekend, we will meet people who will say, hey, you were a great uh, part of my childhood. And there are people who will say, but for Animaniacs or Ninja Turtles, my childhood was in the dumper. Yeah. And you guys, quote unquote, got me and my family through whatever it is impossible to quantify that compliment. Yeah. So the book is um, my recounting of how powerful those characters are in, in my own world. And um, boy, if I have great opportunities like you folks are giving me today to, to s sing the praises of people who do this for a living, but also understand that there's a lot of power in humor and joy yes. and kindness, um, man, I, I can't get enough of it. Sounds like it, it brings a lot of purpose and a lot of healing. Thank your you. voice is coming out, or, or sorry, your your actual book, Voice Lessons, is coming out. Yeah, the October. voice is coming, out, the right voice is coming <laughs> out all the time. <laughs> Stop it. October eighth, and that's when you can get a copy. But you'll be in town this weekend yes, for I will. the Milwaukee Comic Con. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank Rob. you, yeah, madam. Wonderful. It was to meet you. My truly a pleasure. You Thank guys you get so free tickets to the water tower. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you Love so it. much. Have a great weekend. Thank you.